Steve, first of all, how have the players recovered after a tough test on Tuesday? Yeah, we got back very late. We got back about 4 a.m. Um, obviously, delighted to come back with the three points and especially the performance and everything that went on with that. Um, we've trained a little bit lighter towards the Friday. We had Wednesday off. Trained a little bit uh, later on towards the so the lads could have a lie in and get some rest. And uh, sleep's very, a very important part of training, as we all know. And then it's been bright, really bright today. Uh, it was quite bright yesterday as well, but really bright today. And uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow's game. How, how have the lads been in training? Because I can imagine there's a big buzz around the uh, around the place after Tuesday's uh, result. Yeah, that, there's always a buzz. You know, we tried to create that buzz over the last few weeks. Um, we always have fun. You know, uh, today we did a couple of uh, small side of games. Just did some shape, some restarts. So a really positive session today. Hopefully, we can take that in tomorrow. I'm sure you'll be looking to to, uh, to see the same from your players on on uh, on Saturday against Aldershot. Yeah, our players are very uh, they're very honest. They're a good bunch of lads, and I thought they expressed themselves really well on Tuesday night. But we've drawn a line underneath that now, and you know Aldershot, even though they they got defeated tonight at home against Weymouth, you know they're sort of they're a wounded animal. There's no doubt they're going to come at us and, and give us a really tough test. Mark's a top manager, um, himself and Terry. Terry's got a lot of experience as well as assistant. Um, and I know I've just recruited an ex-goalkeeper of mine, Laurie Walker, who's a top goalkeeper. So um, it's going to be a very difficult game. And no two games of football are the same. We've got to have the same mentality, same attitude uh, as we had on Tuesday night. And with the game being live on BT Sport, it provides a great opportunity to show what we can do in front of the cameras, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a good platform to do that. You know, Everyone does get excited when it comes to the to television games. and It's great that BT support the, uh, the National League. It's uh, it's a great initiative for all the players to come out and show what they can, what they've got. You know, it's the limelight uh, game, so we're looking forward to it. And, and what's the latest on uh, Jay Widdison's injury? He's at home. He's comfortable. Um, I just want to go back quickly to Tuesday night. I thought GA and Daniel at physio were outstanding in really tough circumstances. I want to thank them so much from the players and uh, myself. And I want to thank the, the Stockport doctor and the medical staff and the people at Stockport. They were fantastic as well. It was a really traumatic injury, what went, what happened on, on Tuesday night. But he is comfortable, Joe. He sees a specialist next week. Um, and yeah, all our thoughts are constantly with him. It's, it's tough to talk about, I'll be honest. It was such a bad injury. And um, yeah, it's a bit emotional to talk about. It's frustrating. And we're just, our hearts and souls are with Joe at the minute. So we've got to do the business for him now. Um, if we had any motivation, there's a little bit more there. We've got to do it for Joe and his family. So yeah, it's tough. Yeah, like like you said there. I mean, it, it provides a great opportunity to to get get another positive result for Joe, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely, and for ourselves as well. You know, it, it is a motivational tool for us. But you know, for ourselves, I think you know, consistency is the key word. Now we've done quite well in the seven games, well, six of the seven games. Um, can we now like step on and make that next? You know, make that next step to be consistently. You know, winning football matches, but they're never easy at this level. You can go at this level and not win in ten, and then you come in two or three on the bounce. It's such a difficult division, and uh, I think outside of the championship, is the most difficult division in my, in my opinion. Um, but we're looking forward to it. We really are looking forward to it. And the players are hungry. You can see that in their eyes. Um, they'll give their all, and that's all we can ever ask of them. Got goals from two defenders on uh, on, on Tuesday night, which must be pleased to see uh, players chipping in from from all different uh, areas on the pitch. Yeah, it's good to score from restarts. It's something that we walk on. Um, it's always good to score from them. But I think we can score more goals in our front line as well. We can definitely score more goals, especially when we're on top. Um, and you know, I felt if we had, if I had instead, you know, the red card on the Jordan Thomas was fifty five seconds after the restart of the game, uh, after Joe's injury, and um, fifty five seconds, very quick. And uh, I'm sure that it took twenty three seconds for the red card to be given against a Stockport player. I'm not sure I know this because I've looked at it. it. Took 23 seconds for the red card to be given against the Stockport player after the tackle on Joe, and it took 11 seconds for the red card to be shown in the situation with Jordan Thomas. We did appeal it; uh, that appeal has failed, which I'm surprised at. Um, but I ain't an expert on all that, I suppose. And at the end of the day, he misses Jordan misses tomorrow's game. Um, I think our, our main focus for us now is really just you know making sure we affect what we can affect. We don't want to be getting involved in, with referees and stuff like that anymore. Um, but I think we're very respectful to referees. Well, I definitely am. I always speak to all of them on a personal level before and after the game. Uh, I'm not one to shout and scream and sh- at them. Um, but yeah, I think from our point of view, we need to make sure that we're focused on what we can affect and nothing else. 
And, and just a word on our supporters, we've got three, three fantastic uh, ticket offers uh, to, to get the fans here, here at the Hive London, which uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to. Yeah, it's great. Our chairman's obviously OK at that, which is great. And he's been great since I've come in. Um, we've managed to sign Ryan de Havilland as well this week. And the chairman's given us some backing within that department as well. He's a creative midfield player. I think we need a little bit more creation in that department. So that ticks a box for us and hopefully he can push his way into the team. Um, but yeah, great, great initiative for all our supporters. And even to people that don't support us that want to support non-league and Mike Groundhop and you know, hopefully they can come down to the Hive this Saturday, uh, this Saturday evening. What, what, and what part can they play in, in, uh, in the result? Yeah, we've got to keep giving them something to sing about. You know, that's what we did during the night, 78. I thought it was a little bit more than 78, but it sounded like there was much more than 78 uh, Barnet supporters. So it was great that we got them something to go home and cheer about and, uh, and sing about. And hopefully we can do that now with a bigger crowd on Saturday in front of the live cameras.